guys welcome to my channel um, today I'm going to teach you how to do the half double crochet stitch um, if you like what you see please subscribe follow like and it really helps me out for the algorithm and uh, continue watching to find out how to do a half double crochet this is the half double crochet tutorial so the first thing I'm going to do when making my half double crochet is I'm going to start with the slip knot. Um, if you don't know how to make a slip knot, then I will put the link in the video below and you can watch that video first. So at there you see I have my slip knot. And now I'm going to make a chain. And if you don't know how to make a chain, I'll also put that link in the video below so you can go and watch those first and then come back to this video. Here I'm going to chain 21. I would like to have 20 half double crochets on my chain to end with so I'm going to chain 21 and then I don't work in that first chain stitch that's right by my hook I work into that second chain stitch that's by my hook um, and I will show you right here how to do that so right there's your first chain and there's your second you want to work into that second so you will have a turning chain so now you want to loop over and insert your hook into that second chain you want to pull up a loop right like that and then you look at your hook there you have one two three loops on your hook you yarn over again and then you pull through all three loops on your hook and you want to continue this process all the way down to number, for me, number 20 here. So it'll be however many that you plan, however many chains that you made. Again, you just yarn over, you insert your hook into the chain, you have three loops on your hook, you yarn over again, and then you pull through all three of those loops on your hook and you make this all the way down. You yarn over, insert your hook into your chain, you pull through and then you yarn over again and pull through all three. And just continue that all the way down. It is best to count to make sure that you are getting the right number of stitches. If you get one too less or one too many, it can make your edges not even. So just make sure that you are counting how many that you need there. And continue this all the way down to your very last stitch. So you yarn over, insert your hook into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over again, and pull through all three all the way to the end and then when you get to the end here your very last chain right there as you can see there is your slip knot don't work into this slip knot right here sometimes it can loosen up while you're crocheting so just make sure that you're not working into that that's one reason it's best to count now you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your crochet and here Make sure you're not working into that chain one space. That usually does not count as a stitch. That's just a turning chain. So you work into that first half double crochet right there and you repeat that process all the way down where you loop over, insert your hook now into that half double crochet on your previous round, loop over again, pull up. You'll have three chains on your hook or three loops on your hook and then you will yarn over again and then pull through all three. So it's the same exact process and you want to repeat that all the way to the end of your 20 half double crochets on the previous row that you made. And again, I'm just yarning over, putting my chain through that stitch, yarn over again, and then I pull through, I have three loops on my hook, yarn over again, and then just pull through all three loops on the hook and continue that to the very end. And sometimes your needle kind of gets stuck and you have to work with it a little bit and it's okay to have to pull it out and start all over again too. Now I'm at my very last stitch here. So you can see I have my stitch 
right there and then I have my turning chain right there. I don't want to work into that turning chain. I want to work into that stitch. It's very important that you recognize the difference. So I'm working into that stitch and then doing the same thing. And then if when I want to start my next row, I will repeat the same process. I will chain one and then do it all the way across. And that right there is how you do your half double crochet. Thanks everybody for watching my video on how to do a half double crochet. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, like, make a comment. If there's anything you would like to see, please let me know. Um, I'm happy to um, help teach you. Um, if you want to know what kind of crochet hooks that I use, I'll leave my Amazon affiliate link below in the description. I'll use what I started out with, I'll leave that link, and then I'll um, leave the link to what I actually use now. Um, I use now the ergonomic ones because I crochet so much. Um, if you like my, my fabulous witch's hat, the pattern is by Lisa's Naughty Corner, and I will leave that Ravelry link in the um, description below. Also, if you want to see um, my other stuff, please follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I'll leave those links, and if you want to see what I sell, I will leave the, my, Etsy link, my Etsy link in the description below. Thanks for watching, everybody.